Whoa! This is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm just coming back from my acupuncturist, Dr. Arm, getting me all squared away, improving my uh, situation in my back. That's nice. That is nice. So, you know, I was just talking to my buddy on the phone. He's got some new thing going on. And um, he was asking me about something. I go, you know, my whole model right now is, is contempt prior to investigation. And like, this is my basic thing at this stage of my life. Like anything that's wanting input into my reality, I, I got, I instantly throw up a wall right off the bat and then I got to go investigate right and that's what it is contempt prior to investigation like I'm not doing anything at this stage of the game without investigating it on some level and and it may just be the right person broadcasting the information like so my basic model to anything kind of new showing up into my reality is no just no no, no, no. And then I will allow, I will ask, from there I will begin to ask questions about what am I saying no to. And then I'll begin to investigate and then I'll decide whether I'm going to go in on said activity, said thought, said information, whatever it may be. And I think it's a super healthy model because I've begun, I was just talking to my buddy about this, you know, I've really begun, become aware of how much input I inserted into this unit of mine without investigating any of it, whether it was drugs, alcohol, history, relationships, people, all, all of it. Man, I just didn't pay. I, I didn't bother to investigate the television before I started watching it and find out that it's a total mind control device. You know, I didn't investigate, you know, school till I was after, after school and I was like, what was all that information inserted into my head through my youth? You know, I didn't begin to investigate the drugs and the alcohol till I got sober. So if I look at my life, a bunch of, of, of just getting involved with stuff without really checking it out has led me to where I am. And I think that's led our society to where we are now is, is we've just wholeheartedly believe what the information's being given to us. Like one of those, like, even alternative information, alternative medicine, alternative this, I still come at it with a little bit of like wariness, contempt. I need to investigate. And because misinformation is hidden in truth, deception, the, the deception's ultimate tool is to appear not to be deception, right? What do they say? The, uh, the devil's, the devil's biggest lie was convincing you that the devil doesn't exist. Look, and, we, and we've had a giant unmasking in the last year about how twisted the people are running the show, you know? So there's no reason not to be have contempt for all these people that want to put themselves before you, right? There's no reason to trust a leader at all on its face, on his face value. You got to go investigate him. There's no reason to trust information on its face value till you go investigate it. There's no reason to trust history on its face value till you go and investigate it. So, and there's no reason to trust people on their face value till you go and investigate them. And I go, you know, people be like, that's kind of heavy and sort of dark. And I go, no, man, it's not about excluding people. It's just about not being a sucker, man. Look, 
Everybody wants to put their best mask on when they meet you. Everybody comes at you with their best mask, right? So you gotta wait for them to like let their mask down to see who people really are, dude. Everybody's got a, a dance and a deception they're trying to promote. Everybody, dude. Everybody, because the darkness is true, right? The darkness is true, says just as much as the light. So, like, ignorance is bliss, but ignorance is no excuse, right? So, yeah, it, 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 that's why we were given a mind and an intellect, is to, to have contempt prior to investigation. Like, I was just talking to my buddy, that's what we were talking about, was neurofeedback. And I go, look, bro, I'm on a contempt prior to investigation. He's like, oh, it's one of the questions we ask. Because I think there's a thing where, like, anybody who's too willing to go, like, stick electrodes to their head, it's, something's wrong with them too, man. Like, anyone who's too willing to do anything and not bother looking at it is a sucker, in my book. Because th that's what it is. So yeah, I, I advise contempt prior to investigation. Because if you really break that down, it basically says that you're gonna say no, I don't wanna have anything to do with it, then you're gonna go investigate it, and then you're gonna make a decision after you investigate it. And most people are on this whole like, just say yes to everything thing. Ah, I'm not into that, man. That's not my trip, dude. It's not safe. Just say yes to everything. Ah, that's some more of a, that's like some more con job stuff. No, contempt prior to investigation. Anyway, that's what I was thinking about driving home from my acupuncturist. It's the illusion. Let's keep the frequency high.